Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, The Raven, uh, with part 12, the real part 12 of my Minecraft. Uh, let's play Minecraft for the Xbox 360 edition. Um, I'm starting my tourism week, and at first I wanted to have like a whole bunch of people, like all of us go to different worlds and you know show you know, and that, and like the person who was the owner of that world could showcase you know kind of be like a tour guide for each world but a lot of my friends worlds are very creative very large and it would be very difficult to, hey how you doing big swag yeah doing fine hold on for a second um just hold on hold on one second i'm doing episode 12 of uh my Let's Play Minecraft for the Xbox 360 series. So I'm I'm recording right now. Would you like to join? All right, cool. Um, hold on. Let me put switch my voice settings real quick. Okay. Now, um, ladies and gentlemen, I've been joined by Big Swag. Uh, is it Big Swag 59? Yeah. Yeah, I've been joined by Big Swag 59, and um, so I was gonna start by showcasing my world first because our worlds are like large and it takes a lot of time to show like each person's world thoroughly so I decided I'd start with mine and I guess I have a first uh, tourist um, which when Big Swag uh, 59 joins my game well, let me invite you I'm gonna send you an invite that was my game with my friend uh, okay well, I'm, yeah I'm a uh, um, Send you a game advice you can join me on my world. That way you can show up on the playthrough. Because if you're not on my camera, I can't. If, I, if you're not on my screen, I can't, you know, you can't be in the video. Okay, well, there you are. Are you on the roof? Yeah, take the ladder down. Excellent. So here we are. We have Big Swag. Um, He just spawned on top of the storehouse. All my friends spawn on the sto storehouse or whatever. But make yourself at home. Welcome. Um, This is like where I keep like tools and supplies and everything you need. If you there's a door behind you, if you take that, you could get swords and pork chops or whatever it is you your heart's desire. Um, and this episode, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I, I'm going to tour uh, showcase my world. This world y'all seen before on episode six. This is the world with the um, the floating skyway. And I just wanted to show y'all some things I built. Like, well, one thing uh, which Big Swag is experiencing is uh, the storehouse I built. Um. Hey, how you doing? And um, this hey, one, this one, hey, <laughs> and this chest contains all of uh, pork chops. This one's tools, but it's kind of empty. And this is building materials. That's an empty chest for dumping stuff. This is like random crap and materials. And uh, this is for like tools and doohickeys. Another empty chest. And that's for like dropping off stuff. Alright, and um, this is the beginning, ladies and gentlemen, of the North South Skyway um, that y'all seen in episode 6. We'll take that later. Hey, Big Swag, you follow me real quick? Alright. And um, ladies and gentlemen, this is the fountain I built that I was teaching y'all in, in the LP series. Um, I like this one better. It's wider. It looks. It looks. It's more pleasing to me. Uh, I should have made the other one in the series larger. And it's got stone steps. It's not a swimming pool, so it's not deep. But um, that's you know just a my fountain or whatever. I finally got it to work. It wasn't working for a while. And uh, this, ladies and gentlemen, I have stone roads, which I'm thinking about doubling up and improving. <laughs> and uh, this is the approach to the Nether portal. These are supposed to be. My friend said these are looks like sphinxes, but they're they're really I want them to look like lions. Um, and you know the tails are on fire because I wanted to you know to give the effect of like the burning the you know the tail has hair or whatever. But they're they're lions, not sphinxes. But if you think they look like sphinxes, then that's fine. And then it leads up to the Nether portal, which I have uh, built. Um, and and also this this row of cactus is double line. It prevents like monsters who are outside the cactus fence from getting through and you know attacking me or whatever and uh, all along um, you'll see these glass uh, pits with fire in them these uh, provide light at night you know that keeps monsters from spawning uh, in my what's we call it oh my homeboy uh, Michael is just online 
gonna send him a, a invite too. Man, I could get another tourist to join. That would be excellent. Um, wait a minute. I gotta go to friends and invite him. Let's see here. Is this your phone up here? Yeah, this is that's my yeah it is. This is a floating hydroponic garden, uh, which Big Swag has just found out. This is where I grow wheat. Um, oops. Well, yeah, this is where I grow wheat at. I wanted to make it float. I wanted to look futuristic or whatever, so I use it to grow wheat. But yeah, this is my little farm. Appreciate you. Thank you for noticing. And then, you know, it kind of floats so monsters and cows and stuff don't attack it. You know, and it's sealed inside so if at night you can stay inside and be safe. I wanted to make it more like a sphere, but I didn't know how to build it correctly. So it's kind of like an odd shape. But it has glass on the top for sunlight to come in. And I planted these flowers underneath it. Well, actually, I just used bone meal on the grass and they grew. Well, this is my house. Um, watch out for the lava and there's trap doors uh, too so don't fall in the hole like this sheep is an idiot being an idiot but now those are those are down come this way swag uh, okay yeah because I think the doors are down on this side but on this, this ladies and gentlemen is my house um welcome to my house big swag they're safe you can jump on them when the doors are down, it's safe. The levers are controlled inside, um, like by the switch, which either makes the doors like open or closed. So this prevents monsters from attacking me at night. You know, they fall in the hole and die and that type of stuff. Oh, that's like opening and closing. Yeah, that is. And um, well, this is the downstairs. It's half, it's half stone and half wood because it was all wood. But when I put lava, I made a lava moat. It set the house on fire. So various treasure chests. This one contains, you know, wool. The various do, you know, stuff you collect throughout Minecraft. This is like a drop box where you just get rid of stuff, you know, real quick. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. This is a building materials chest. And then upstairs we have a catwalk over the lava moat, or half the lava moat. And this is the my room, or the main room, ladies and gentlemen. And I have tools here, uh, built doohickeys, and you know utensils there. This chest, you know, that's for like a drop box for like stairs and other type of stuff. You know, you don't use. Um, this one, you know, furnaces for making stuff, crafting table, you know, the usual stuff. And this was elevated because I built it into a hill. And this is kind of like my drawbridge. Obviously, it's over the lava moat. You have to open the doors and then make a jump. So it's kind of a leap of faith. Oh, Michael Cartel Tape, what's up? I'm recording on my uh, doing um, whatchamacallit. But um, yeah, what you got to do. Huh? In order, hey, in order to get over here, you have to jump. And I'm giving a tour of my house. Oh. Yeah, now I'm, I'm talking to my friend Michael who joined us. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're joined by another online friend, uh, Michael. Uh, we call him Mike K. And uh, he's a he's a YouTube master. Um, ladies and gentlemen, he's way better at Minecraft than I am. It's just the fact that he hasn't he just recently got the Xbox edition so he doesn't have a world yet but um, when he does I'm definitely gonna uh, showcase it to y'all cuz he builds like awesome stuff hey where are you where'd you spawn man I, uh -oh. Where you gonna spawn right here? yeah Mike uh, Can... Can... yeah I don't know where he spawned I don't know why sometimes they spawn people at the top of the house. Most of the time it's top of the storehouse. But I guess it. This way. Yeah. That way. Well, let's do We can't. Um. Hey, Mike, can you hear me? Hold on, let me check the party. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I have to check. This says three people in it. 
Oh, uh, Millie's mic isn't mic isn't hooked up. This shows that he doesn't have a mic hooked up. That's what it is. Uh, so that's why he's not talking. Oh crap! Threw my sword away. But anyway, these are just more lights um, leading up to the approach to the skyway. Which y'all seen in the other video, ladies and gentlemen. Which um, I demonstrate how to take it. Is there a spider? Where's a spider? I don't know. Oh, it's right here. It's right there. Behind. Behind it. Oh, uh, burning. Oh, there's a spider. It must have touched the lava or something. That's it. No, it's just, it's just, it's just it's trying to kill you. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I got him. Alright, um. Yeah. Well, well, here's a sky house, ladies and gentlemen, I showed on the, in episode six. Um, but this is a railway. I finally completed the railway, which I'll take. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? Do I have any cobblestone? Uh, no, I need steel. I don't have any steel. I'm. I should have bought, built more mine cars. I'll be back. Um, big swag. I'm gonna take the mine cart over the highway, and then I'm gonna bring it back, and then you can ride it. Okay. Well, I had a picture up here for a touch. Of detail or whatever, you know, basic stuff, and it's all made out of glass, so you can see. I like that. So, anyway, this is how you ride the mine cart or whatever. Now it's complete, you push it and ride it, and then it takes you over to the other side. Like each one point you pass, a redstone is a powered track, so it takes you to the other side of the floating skyway. And this is the other side here. Let's exit. And it's actually complete. The other video, like, I, you know, it stopped, only went so far. But uh, let's ride it back. All right. Well, it looks like my friend Mike is having some uh, problems uh, with his connection or whatever. Mm -hmm. Which I thought I, I was too. Now, Xbox, it went Red Ring of Death. Um, that's why I put out a video about it. But. It seemed to clear it up for some reason, so I'm not complaining. All right. Oh, there's a spider. Okay, we just heard a spider fall into the lava. <laughs> That's why I like lava most. All right. In order, big swag. In order to ride the minecart, like push it, like walk into it. Hey, Mike, can you hear us? Oh, okay, cool. We can hear you. Yeah. Hold on, let me push it. Let's see if I can push it. All right, now. <laughs> well, I just sent Big Swag on the highway. To get it back, just do the same thing. All right, well, let's join my friend uh, Mike K. Um, hey, Mike, I'm recording episode 12 of the LP series. I'm, we're kind of tour doing tourism in my world right now. Oh, I need this bucket so I can make cakes. So well, we just collect some milk from a cow, and now we're going to collect leather. Well, this, ladies and gentlemen, isn't the same world that I'm doing the main LP on. This is just a tourism world. Uh, hydroponic garden. Okay, and we show the bottom stairs of the house. And, uh, oh, there's a, there's a skeleton. Damn it. I'm on my way back. All right, cool. Oh, you spawned, and then we have a friend, Mike K, who just spawned on top of the house. Yeah, there's the ladder's on the side of the sandstone block. You see the sandstone block? Yeah, just, just, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, that's all right. I don't know, I need to find a better way to let people down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build on that later. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, um... Let's see here. Is those doors down? All right, I don't know what happened to this side right here. Maybe something exploded. Uh, I don't know what happened there, but I looks like I got to fix that. Maybe a creeper blew up or something. But anyway, uh, part of my wall has been destroyed. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, up here um, is uh, up past my the my room on the second floor is an observatory I built, so I could look out over the land. And as y'all can see, my house is completely surrounded with lava. I like that. It keeps spiders and other idiots from attacking me at night. And um, and then it has it, it has light, so you know it keeps monster spawns down. Every now and then, a skeleton will jump down or something, but 
it really keeps the monster spawns down. So, uh, Mike K, um, you want you want you want to go to your world? You want to show you want to show us the quarry? Uh, us and the fans. Yeah, I just explained to uh, the people that you're a Minecraft master. It's just, you know, it's just that you haven't had, um, uh, what in the world happened here? That you haven't had, you know, Minecraft, you know, very long, so you haven't had time to get the awesome build. Now, I don't know what happened to, I don't know what happened to my house here, but, um, this sucks. I don't know how this happened. Hey, did anybody get to fight with a creeper? No, I was asking, did anybody get to fighting with a creeper? Cool. Hey, you're me. Oh, uh, okay. Well, it's alright. I'll just fix it later. But yeah, anybody, if something gets destroyed or blown up, let me know. That way I know to go fix it. So anyway, we have more friends. Um, they're joining us. And, um, and if you spawn on top of the house, take the sandstone block, take the ladders down. Okay, well. Alright, well, my friend Mike K just left so he can send us an invite to his world. And that's where we'll be going next, ladies and gentlemen. Um, be careful, don't... Is a zombie chasing you? Alright. Well, anyway... Hey, love the you gotta hug zombies to death. <laughs> no, I gotta kick zombies' butts. Hey, Big Swag, where are you? I'm right here, but I'm like beside you. I know you stop. Oh, I see you. Oh, I see you. Cool. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I did build a world inside the Nether portal, which I'm working on, which is pretty safe uh, so far. All right. So, all right, everybody. Um, we have an invite to Mike K's world. So I'm we're gonna accept that and uh, we're gonna showcase his world. Like everybody in the party except um, the game invite y'all received, okay? And we have to wipe our feet before we get inside the house. <laughs> and um, right now Mike has been like a massive uh, mine, like literally, and it's a massive quarry that he's using to gather materials because he makes massive like epic stuff. So. Um, it'll be a real treat to showcase uh, his world. I know he's been doing a lot of digging and going on, and uh, well, and we. I, I dig a little bit different than most. Most people just kind of go down and uh, just kind of grab blocks. See what I do is a little bit different. What I do is I like to make a little aesthetic as I go because uh, as everybody knows, man, when you build something, you don't ever go back and try to retouch it, do little add-ons you like. So when I dig, I dig and stop. I'll see what I'm talking about here. Man. Yeah. And, that's, and this will be a real treat, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we just all spawned. Uh, Mike K, where are you? Just kind of guide the oh, tourists here. I, I didn't know where you at. Where you at? Uh, okay. Wait a minute. It just said uh, Can I go in the house? <laughs> oh, yeah. Go, go on in. Just make sure your feet clean, man. Yeah, send me another you invite. You dress pretty nice. You look good. Send me another <laughs> invite. I, for some reason, I got kicked out. <laughs> It said connection to the server was lost. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Just, just be in some minutes when he sent resends the invite. Wait a minute. Maybe you have a game on. Okay, wait. That's the wrong invite. All right. Appreciate it. I wish my friend was on when I say to make a tour of his house, his place. Cause he got, he got like a big Pokemon ball. For real? Oh, that's he, awesome. He got like churches. He got a church. Mm. And he got like a, he got a long way about a real, a real way. What are you doing to my ground, man? What are you doing to my? Oh, ground? I, I start spawning on top of a mountain. I'm putting it back. <laughs> Nah, I put the dirt back, man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, yeah, I put the dirt back. <laughs> All right, I gotta get some more. I'm trying. I stood on top of a mountain, so I had to dig my way back down. You know. 
No, that's cool. No, leave it, leave it, leave it be, man. Leave it, leave it dirt. I got a place for it. Oh, you still, you still you can, you can't just jump out, man. Come on, you're like two feet. Oh, really? oh, okay, I'm sorry. I get paranoid. So anyway, this is the entrance here. I'm looking around. It looks really nice. Um, here's our host. Here's our world guide, uh, um, Mike K. And uh, this is really nice. You see, he has a detailed um, log house here. The wooden, these wooden planks are excellent. I like this dock. It's real nice. These uh, pillars here for support. And um, let's see here what we got inside. We have a sign here. Caution. Ask for team members assistance. All right. What assistance do I need, Mike? You got, the, you got the office right here. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the... Oh, okay. You have to get permission from the office in order to uh, harvest lumber and stuff. So we have two crafting tables here. Um, one empty chest and one chest containing dirt. We have a nice touch. We have a picture here on the wall. This is nice. And I like the detail. This is not a living house. This is a house. This is actually the office as you know stated by our host for you know lumbering and here it looks like we have a garden growing of a uh, got some sugar cane okay oh, okay so this is actually a paper mill then this he's not using this for food yeah I'll, I'll make a paper mill later on and then we have everything is well lit. You'll notice, like Mike K, everything is well lit. That, that keeps monsters from spawning. Let's read this sign, the quarry. So here's the quarry actually that um we were working in last time. As you see, massive amounts of stone steps. Let's check these signs out. Can't really see them. Wait a minute. I wish I could like there's a read button. All right, wait a minute. Maybe I need to put this on large screen. And ladies and gentlemen, this episode is running long, but um, this is a tourism episode, so let's that's good. And as you can see, we have a uh, we have some different colored blocks here. Is that sapphire blocks um that you have right there, Mike? Uh, lapis lazuli. Yeah, I think that's Latin. High for, class. Yeah, it's high class. Here's a foreman's office for the mine, and we have a uh, pressure plate here. Average. That's that sign says, please remember your hard hat. Okay, the sign says, ladies and gentlemen, get your hard hat. So here's the foreman's office, bookshelf here. Uh, these are, I guess, where I store like workers' documentation and, you know, federal forms and stuff. So we have lots of things here. And this is nice. This picture is real nice. Oh, this is Donkey Kong. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know they had a Donkey Kong picture in Minecraft. So um anyway, let's grab a hard hat. And uh, that's uh, this is like a building materials chest here. Hey, hey, hard hat's over here, buddy. Yeah, I didn't get anything. I'm not stealing your stuff. So here, let's equip. Uh, do we equip it or just get it? Oh no, they put it on. All right, got my hard hat on, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'll, I'll put I'll put mine on too. Here. All right, cool. So Up now here, we're. Warehouse. Oh, okay. Warehouse. Oh, this is awesome. So I guess this is where stored extra stuff. We have sand. A chest just for sand. Chest just for stone. Just for just for cobblestone, and it is packed. That cobblestone chest is packed. All righty. Um, this is a chest for dirt. Gravel. I like the detail. Like as he builds, everything is detailed. Look, look up. Look, look up. My, look, look at this. Uh, I like it. This is the best lighting, baby. Yeah. Okay. And then we got some ambient lighting by having recessed torches, which is an awesome touch. This is an awesome touch. Big Swag, how you doing, man? Hey, I'm over here mining. Okay. I found, I found uh, like four iron ore right now. All right, cool. And here's the foundry, and as you can see, packed with um furnaces here. It's a nice touch. Really, I like the detail. This is awesome. And got some work, a workbench here in the middle. 
and once again where we hit we see this the recess lighting style which is awesome all right cool and what to next Mike it's your world and when they were mining you can see that's uh supported by uh, wooden stone wooden uh, supports we have a sign here that says mine safety first okay so we're going to the mines and we need to be safe and we have a walkway here nice touch nice touch and this is just like this is what he's doing in preparation for like the epic stuff zone a cleared okay so here's zone a I guess dang it's awesome and like all these stone steps had to take that takes a lot of stone to make and it's a lot of time put in there and this is just digging this isn't like living space or anything okay zone A looks nice and it's cleared of all dirt uh, coal iron ores all that kind of stuff it's excellent and uh, once again we have light everywhere very well lit well built mine this is awesome and I'm just going around trying not to get uh, alright cool that's a dead end there awesome let's take these stairs back up okay alright those stairs up lead to a, a cleared area so we are in zone A and I'm uh, and like, yeah this whole thing from that big old plus up there all the way down all stone oh uh, really yeah. Yeah, it's not just like a haphazard digging and grabbing. Yeah, it's, this is very awesome. So let's catch up to Big Swag's area. Y'all want him to be on, you know, y'all have to be on my screen in order to be on it. So I want him on some footage. Like, I invite everybody to join me on my LP series. Um, I'm your host of Raven, and my gamer tag is Ravenlight657, capital R, A V E N, capital L, I G H T, no spaces. And if you would like to be with my wonderful friends, uh, Mike K and Big Swag, and and uh, some other friends who haven't joined me today, um, you can. You'll be on my LP series, and it'll be awesome. We'd love to tour your worlds. Okay, we're going. I'm gonna go back down to the mines. Uh, I'm gonna take the other zone. Oh, he's not? Okay. Uh, the other zone's uh, right now blocked off. It basically means I went in there and got precious, precious metal. Oh, okay. Drop off your hard hat. Oh, okay. Yeah, we also have to put the hard hats up. The property of uh, Mike K management. No, we have to unequip it first. All right. Uh, you might want to grab a pick if it's mine. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to uh, mine. I'm trying to catch up to uh, trying to catch up to Big Swag because I'm about to end the video. It's about to be 30 minutes. Uh, let's see here. Okay, he's in the the lumber yard house. All right, and all y'all are warping. I guess that means my Xbox is running <laughs> slow. <laughs> like when y'all move, y'all like teleporting. But um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some iron. Oh, give that to my K. This hold on. Yeah, that's my K. What? Well, here we are with um Big Swag and Mike K. Um, I'd like to thank both of you gentlemen for joining me on my uh tour, the first episode of my tourism week. Um, and then they start out a battle. Okay, it's punching my head back. <laughs> It's not fair, they have swords. I ain't got no sword, it's a stick. Oh, it's a stick. Oh, so it's stick biting. Well, I got a flower. I got a flower. Right. Right. Stick biting something. Hold on, where's Mike run to? He usually, he's a, usually a, he's a usual punching. He's the main one who likes to punch people. But anyway, I'm your host of Raven, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching um, uh, episode 12 of my, my Let's Play Minecraft for the Xbox 360 edition. And um, I guess we'll end it with a feast of violence or whatever. Um, but next episode, we'll be touring more worlds as we do tourism. Uh, I do a tourism week type thing. 
And then when we're finished with that, we'll go back to my regular LP series and we'll start doing work uh, advancing that, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So thank y'all and y'all have a good day.